10.42 um, I'm again in the void because I screwed up <laughs> oh my god that sucks so I did the lost city and uh, it went quite well but uh, lost my leader because of the gluten it really sucks oh, was not lucky this time so no I don't know what I should do because if they are moving with some big armies toward me I may I sh probably should move back toward my throne but at the same time uh, it would waste many turns um, but I don't have any scouts. I don't have true sight so I don't know I will have to think about it what, what's best to do because if they have if they have some defenders at the dwelling then I cannot retake it but I, I guess the dragon dwelling is undefended because it has some roaming units around it so it's it's hard to, to put some units to defend it I don't know I guess I should have a look with at least one of my units anyway so this fight um, so I, I, I took a cure disease with my leader because I had two uh, three points remaining and uh, it's good to uh, fight uh, curse and so I discovered something during this fight I didn't know for uh, Lost Cities is that the AI doesn't use true curse on units with 20% uh, blight resistance uh, which is a big problem for me because I was expecting them to always throw curse at me and they didn't they only threw curse at my uh, hero I don't know why and not even my leader and so whenever my hero uh, was cursed uh, they stopped throwing curse uh, at other units I don't know why uh, very strange um, so yeah the strategy was to try to get uh, the Naga to attack me one by one and then kill one and then repeat and to uh, split them so the poor rider here was splitting the, the gluten and the, and the Naga matriarch there and then I've got the two four to deal with so I, I put myself exactly in position to get charmed and she did try to charm me but it failed so then I'm, I'm shaken um, which I can uh, really deal with it's not a big deal and if I was charmed I could use um, break control with my rogue hero and so then I, I use fire musket and uh, and the bar rider to, to kill the to kill the naga then I, I hesitated and then I decided to use quick dash on it and retreat but actually I, I got only two movement points not sure why actually uh, because 16 sh it should be three movement points at least I think Ah no, no no no, I'm stupid, okay yeah, it's six um six movement points you got one X. So yeah, two movement points with not very useful. So then I, I took two more charms but um it 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 like used their charms not I cannot use it anymore. And uh and then with this boar rider uh, I had to, to be careful with stones because in previous games like in the in the um, demo I did for Lost City, I lost. It's another of my video. Uh, you can look at my channel to to see it. I lost uh, one unit because of taunt, so I decided to retreat the bar riders there. Then, so I tried to immobilize this um, Naga with Tronet, but failed, and uh, brought my hero and the bar riders there. To um, to kill the other Naga, and then these two guys avoid try to avoid being charmed, and charm fails again. Ghost Kosior is also very dangerous because your leader has mind control immunity, but not 100% spirit resistance, so he can be uh, afraid, scared by the Nagas. That would be a, a big problem, but he still has 12. Um, resistance so it didn't happen then I moved like this to do just one attack um, because if it's two I would take damage and then I finish it with a uh, with a bow rider and I kill the other Naga with my leader so 
on, at this point I was very very good like five units alive one retreated mostly full health but then uh, at the end of these fights I never know how to deal with them because I've got two units very strong very close together so it's hard to split them um, especially with stones and the uh, and the uh, gas breath and uh, and curse and cause fear and charm so I tried to deal with them both at once um, I took some time to heal a bit a little bit but didn't want as expected so yeah I, I tried to position myself to have only one gas breath but failed uh, so two, two gas breaths then here I, I tried to immobilize I had 35% chance to immobilize the gluten fa and failed and so the back plan was to cast um, um, quick dash and then go and use the uh, throw net ability and I had 65% chance and should work but it failed again and I drained the movement point of the Naga with my Borados uh, to action points so I don't kill it I, I don't have enough damage to kill it but at least no action points so yeah use quick dash without healing 65% and it fails and then I'm pretty unlucky because on the first hit of the gluten he had two hits BAM! swallow hole so I had 20 I'm not clear 28 why why did it pass it I did to 7 55 against 28 and and I I fucking lost I don't understand how does it work or it was maybe inflexibly poisoned yeah maybe it passed the inflexibly poisoned but you felt you don't have the role of the solo hole I guess so yeah and then at this point I was still okay, I could still kill the uh, gluten but it has 120 uh, 20 fucking H HP so difficult to kill it. I could have tried uh, a cause fear at uh, 30% but uh, low chance. And then again <laughs> fucking kills my boar rider on first hit. We, we had It had only one hit and but again after it would have more hits of course but and it it, it, it fucking swallowed the um, the Borado so now uh, only the last unit hidden will will come back so I lost my leader and then I I just killed okay just gas breath I don't know why it's a bit stupid for him but then I just kill it easily with all my remaining units and I get only the Borados back so yeah lost my leader uh, stupidly I guess I, I could have played differently and, and kept the, the leader, maybe taking more damage on the gas press, etc. But should have been okay. And it was a probable defeat fight. So yeah. Um, then for the rest, so I moved my units there to be concealed. I'm going to try probably to get to see what's going on here with the ice berries and see if I can take the the dwelling, and then not go to the ogre dwelling uh, as long as I don't have my leader back I think I'm producing armies again so crossbowman, boar rider, boar rider, engineer at my throne finishing the um, siege workshop here but won't be useful because I cannot cast mana fuel cell uh, producing temple uh, on the surface sent my my settler here arrive in two turns and at the same time I will get the upgrade in a stone fortress um, sending one boar rider here to help defend my throne so I will have five units next turn um, plus plus the, the this guy hopefully I should be okay but I don't know what's coming so I'm a bit concerned and also to come back I will have to go back through here or maybe through here so yeah, I'm a bit concerned because I don't have scooting. So we'll see next turn what's going on. 